Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss another problem. That is the unit step response of negative feedback system with open loop transfer function equal 6 by s plus 5. So he mentioned find out the unit step response. So here input is u of t. It is a step system and which is applied to the a open loop transfer function that is the open loop transfer function we have g of s equal 6 by s plus 5 this is the open loop transfer function and which is applied to the uh, which is applied to the system and which is applied to the one system so this is open loop that's why we have to put in a closed loop system so this is the input u of t and this is the output c of t we need to find out this output and we are giving negative feedback to the system so that is the negative feedback this is the negative and he is asked to find out the c of t yes so this is the u of t is the input r of t is u of t generally so from this we can write r of s equal to uh, 1 by s yes next this is the open loop transfer function but we require closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function we can write like this this take it numerator and take the denominator the closed loop transfer function equal numerator by denominator plus numerator so numerator is 6 and denominator is 6 plus denominator is s plus 5 plus 6 that is 6 by s plus 11 yes and from this we can write we require the c of s c of s is generally the transfer function closed loop transfer function into the closed loop transfer function into r of s directly we can write so what is transfer function here the transfer function is 6 by s plus 11 and input e is the 1 by s 1 by s is the input this is the c of s and we will and we need to find out the in time domain analysis that's why we have to do with the partial differentiation do the partial differentiation with the system that is so for that we should separately divided this that is 6 by s into s plus 11 we can divide like this a by s plus b by s plus 11 so by doing the LCM both will be cancelled and uh, we have 6 is there so do it s by s plus 11 and uh, s into s plus 11 so this is multiplied a into s plus 11 plus b into s both will be cancelled the remaining equal 6 equal a into s plus 11 plus b into s now put s equal to minus 11 in the above equation you will get 6 a into 0 b into minus 11 from this you have b value is minus 6 by 11 this is the b value and next put s equal to 0 put s equal 0 you will get 6 equal to a into 11 plus b into 0 by doing the calculation we have a equal to 6 by 11 so substitute these values here therefore c of s equal to a 6 by 11 6 by 11 11 by s yes, and b equal to minus so we will take plus is there just take minus 6 by 11 by s plus 11 
so this is for the s domain so if you take into the time domain then it will become c of t is equal to 6 by 11 and we can write the t so not t this is for u of t for u of t t is 1 by s and for this minus 6 by 11 and this is e power minus 11 t e power minus 11 t so then we have minus 6 by 11 e power s plus 11 into u of t so from this you can common 6 by 11 u of t then finally you have t minus 6 by 11 we should common here t minus e power 11 t so this is the output of in time domain analysis this is the c of t okay any problem given in this first you convert into the s domain after that do after that you will convert into the time domain then you have the output in the time domain okay this is the problem when you are dealing with the problems okay next topic is steady state error of non-unity feedback system so up to now up to this class we discussed for steady state error unity feedback system only so if there is non-unity feedback is there then how we can do the steady state error we need to discuss here so for that purpose first I am taking a system the system is having the input R of S and which is given to the apply to the steady state error which is summation point and that will be given to the G of S G of S yes and from that we have the output is Y of S and it is non-unity feedback system and it has the H of S H of is the H of S is the it is a feedback gain it is a feedback gain and which have the negative feedback so this is the system for this type of system how we have to do the steady state error we need to discuss generally in order to calculate the steady state error two conditions are must and should once again we recollect those conditions to calculate the steady state error two conditions are mandatory very very important conditions are mandatory the first condition is very very important condition system system must be stable system otherwise if it is unstable system the steady state error is not possible to calculate the second system is the second point is system must be closed loop system it should be a closed loop system otherwise it is not possible and these are the very important mandatory conditions and we have a third condition that got, that is not mandatory the third condition is unity feedback system unity feedback system okay so this unity feedback system is sometimes it is better if we have the unity feedback system it is better if there is no unity feedback system and we can do the steady state error we have a we can find out the steady state error also so for that purpose what we have to do we need to do for that purpose we, we need to understand some concept that is so what is the signal here what is the signal here this signal value is y of s into h of s this value is the y of s into h of s and this what is the signal this signal we can take it as finally we are giving take just assume this is the x of s is the signal just assume so how we can write this x of s just assume this is the x of s the signal what is the value of the x of s x of s is the 
combination of r of s minus y of s into h of s r of s minus y of s into h of s this is the x of s signal okay by using that we can easily find out the uh, we can easily find out the by using this concept we can find out the steady state error for the non unity feedback system we have a one method we have two methods to study the non unity feedback of the system how the first method we need to discuss here so here name it as a method 1 we can use two methods this method 1 is frequently used method so in this method 1 uh, once again you have to convert into the unity feedback system so what we have to do convert non unity feedback non unity feedback into the unity feedback system system into unity feedback system unity feedback system then how it is possible you can take it first point how it is possible system by introducing the introducing two feedbacks so we should introduce the two feedbacks what are those one is positive unity feedback another one is the negative unity feedback by using it it is not change how so look at here here we have rfs is the signal that have summation point is has the open loop transfer function g of s and whether we will have the output is the y of s and it has the negative feedback with h of s is the feedback gain h of s is the feedback gain so for this we need to modify how we have to introduce two feedbacks one is positive another one is negative so here we and we add a one feedback that is but it will take it is a positive feedback and again we have to add a another feedback with the negative feedback so then there is no change in the feedback if we add all these h of s 1 and 1 h of s plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 both are we cancel only h of s is remaining okay then then by that conversion we have some modifications those are so we can be modify like this the system which have summation point and and this is a system g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s it is a one system it is a one and then we are converting this feedback system will be modified like this and it will be delivered some output so the remaining is we have the plus 1 plus unity feedback and the another one is the negative feedback we have again two feedbacks are available this positive and another one is the negative this is the one this is the minus one so this is the minus one okay again we should convert into the again we should convert into the again we should convert into this model so we can be converted this system into the single transfer function then that will be modified like this so this is numerator numerator plus denominator so by that by using that concept we have a summation point and here g of s is there 1 plus g of s into h of s here the minus g of s is there so minus g of s is there yes finally this will be become an error finally 
it will become so this is the input r of s this is the output c of s okay then the system completely become unity feedback system the combination of input as well as output we will get the e of s is the signal that is the error signal so we have a system like this finally we are converted the system with the unity feedback system negative unity feedback system so by doing the calculation we will get the error signal is finally finally by, by doing the calculation we have converted into the error signal like this e of s equal to r of s by 1 plus g of s okay r of s by 1 plus g of s we have finally the error signal by doing the calculation we have error signal formula is like this okay so this is the conversion of non unity feedback systems into the unity feedback system okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you